First of all, I feel humbled by some of the wonderful work that the gentleman and uh, the lady who have been doing this. I, on behalf of Government of Andhra Pradesh, uh, the first gentleman who is talking about the teacher, Teach India, okay, would like to contribute from our side uh, to take care of some of the books and bags and other needs. And see, please get in touch with us. This is what is most important. All of us will have to contribute. See, we are the privileged sections of the society. What do we give back to the society is the most important thing. And somebody who has given up his career, a lot of people they are giving up their careers and they are working for the ordinary people, that makes a difference. Actually. This is how I am inspired. Uh, in fact, uh, now it will start. We are not building a metro. There are 200 metros in the world. Across the globe, these 200 metros are built by engineers as more as structural solutions. They give you, it's basically engineer's paradise. But we're not building Taj Mahals. We are basically building a project that is required for the city, that is required for the people. So for me, it's an opportunity. See, I'm not basically looking at an engineering excellence. I'm basically a creative person. I'm a social scientist. I'm a finance guy. I'm an artist. I am a poet, so I want poetry in concrete. I want my city to be beautiful. I am just making use of this metro rail project. In fact, uh, the things are not that visible. I wish I bring the latest technology and improve this place actually. See, this will completely change Hyderabad as it is looking. I made a promise that pre-Hyderabad, pre-metro Hyderabad is going to be different from post-metro Hyderabad. This is the present scenario. The problem of Hyderabad and other Indian cities is that we don't have good public transportation system. We have 30 lakh vehicles and every year we are adding 3 lakh vehicles at this pace. There won't be place actually even to move out of our houses. So we have to change. That's number one. But how do we make use? I'm not looking at this project as a simple transportation project. How do we make use of this project and completely transform an Indian city like Hyderabad as a global city? So it's an opportunity for me to redesign, to rejuvenate. This is what, you know, have a look at the child. You know, if a child is able to enjoy in a public place, this I call it a city. This is how we should aim at. We should not build cities for cars. We have to build cities for people. It has to be quality public space. We, the rich guys, actually, we go to clubs, enjoy. But what do poor people do? So you have to provide a top class quality public space and give access to everybody so that the crime rate will come down in the city and everybody enjoys. You have to build not car centric cities, you have to build happy cities. You have to promote family values. What is happening to our children, even the rich people's children, they're going to hookah bars and getting spoiled. Is it the one we want actually? Is it for, for that you know, we are slogging? So we have to basically improve the environment. We have to improve the competitiveness of the city. With that, the brand equity of Hyderabad, what we are talking about. Hyderabad shall be one of the best cities in the world in terms of eco-friendliness. That's what we have to look at. See, the carbon footprint will have to come down. The carbon footprint will come down provided you have good sidewalks, you have good skywalks, you have a large number of facilities, what we call, a, a, see, I'm not calling it transit, it is transit plus. In a transit plus, what happens It is basic public transportation plus non-motorized transport which is the last mile connectivity that is with bicycles we'll have bicycle stations at all metro stations will have bicycle stations will give free bicycles and this of course 72 kilometers we are building three routes in corridor one in uh, phase one all these 72 kilometers will have 66 stations at 63 locations these 66 stations they will not be simple metro stations they will be places for all of us to go, enjoy, relax, have a good lifestyle there at this place. And from there you take, if you want to take a bike and go out wherever you want. If you want to go skywalk straight away, it will be connected to schools, colleges, educational institutions, hospitals, offices, etc. So what we are trying to build is a build an efficient city. There will be one city, Hyderabad, at the ground level, one city at the sky level. You straight walk into that. This is how I'm talking about greenery, I'm talking about street furniture, I'm talking about a large number of things, you know, this skywalks, sidewalks, etc., etc. Make Hyderabad a really livable city, a lovable city. This is what we are aiming at, these skywalks. So see, today to cross the road is impossible for anybody. So this kind of initiatives we are 
initiating. Last year, we planted 60,000 trees. I'm happy to say that 98% have survived, and I translocated 600 trees. All the 600 trees have survived. This is what we are doing, the green initiatives. And look at the peers, actually look at the peers of other cities. You say, I said, I don't want to see the ugly structures. I said, I want a beautiful curve, actually, see. So they struggled for eight months, actually. They came out with this design, and our station is also a unique station. It's a single PR station on which a cantilever of 10 meters on each side. So 20 meter cantilever station for the first time in the world we are building in Hyderabad. This is the thing. We shall make a difference. This and we will make a difference. This is how the presentation I made to international audience of experts and in that global strategic forum, Hyderabad got a judge as the best metro project of the world, the best, the best engineering project of the world. So thank you very much for giving me this opportunity. We'll do a lot more things and I'll tell you a lot more things. It takes hours and hours actually. See, all of us will have to put our shoulders together to make this city a global, eco-friendly and people-friendly city. Thank you very much. One is actually from the government side. We have DHMC, we have HMDA, we have HMR and we have APIs, etc. A lot of us, young officers and uh, we have come together. We are providing all the leadership and all the resources and we would also like to have private participation. Last year we collaborated with uh, schools, colleges, universities and private sector organizations, a lot of organizations, whoever has got open space actually see, we are going there and planting trees, that's one. And uh, last year two schemes I started, one was one of Prasadam, the other one is one of Diksha. We planted trees and in this one of Prasadam, uh, Mrs. Rajeshwari, she was also aware of the campaigns we have done, actually we have given free plants. All of you are welcome again, we are doing it this year. Wherever you want, actually, you can plant within the city. That will encourage. That's one part of the story. Apart from the green initiative, a lot of other initiatives to bring down the carbon footprint in the city. You please get in touch with us and we will help you. 200 metros, most of them actually see they had done, they had been constructed as standalone structures. Later they realized they retrofitted some of the things. Delhi Metro also made the same mistake, even though Delhi Metro is an excellent metro, but the only problem is actually it's not integrated with other modes of transport properly. In Hyderabad, what we are doing is actually, I couldn't present, there was no time. We are connecting to the main rail uh, stations like, for example, Secunderabad, Nampalli, Begumpet, Malakpet, etc. Six MMTS stations. Incidentally, I was the project director who built MMTS. When I built MMTS, 10,000 people were traveling. They said it's a waste of money and today it has become highly successful. 1,65,000 people. Now they say that actually metro, MMTS is enough, there is no need for metro. So, so people have to understand these things. So I am connecting six MMTS stations, three important uh, uh, rail terminals, then all the bus depots, you know, Miyapur, etc., six bus depots were connecting. Then we are also giving what is called figure on feeder services. Actually, we have identified, we have 66 stations at 63 locations. How many right side colonies are there? How many left side colonies are there? These are called the traffic catchment areas. In the traffic catchment areas, there will be feeder buses, continuous merry go round feeder buses. Every few minutes, it will touch the metro station. So, this is the most important thing last mile connectivity. So, with that, you know, end to end, there is, it's called seamless travel facility. You don't require a private vehicle. That's number one. Number two, as I mentioned, actually, see, apart from this, non motorized transport like bicycles, pedestrian facilities, etc. All these things we are creating so that um, uh, you will substantially bring down the carbon footprint or the pollution levels in the city. See, pedestrian facilities is a problem in this country. In fact, I say that you know, sidewalk is the soul of a city. It's like the pallu of a sadi. Unfortunately, Indian cities who have neglected sidewalks. So what we are going to do as a part of this project is as once the initial construction is over, we are going to have broad sidewalks to begin with from the metro stations to the nearby localities. In fact, a big study is going on. We are identifying all these things. So these sidewalks is one aspect along with the sidewalks. Skywalks are also going to be there which will straight away land into these buildings, etc. So what I have done is actually I have studied different systems in the world. The best features of those systems I have I'm trying to improve on that further and introduce in Hyderabad and whatever mistakes they made actually we are avoiding those mistakes. Skywalks are different actually see this was the initial experiment of GHMC and incidentally see I was the one actually who started sky building skywalks in the city as additional commissioner. I appreciate your point. The facilities which we are going to create at the metro stations that totally disabled friendly will have special lifts, escalators and all these facilities and special ramps for the physically challenged people also to have easy access. We are taking the inputs. In fact, the project, that's what I said, it's a people's project actually. We are involving 
women, children, and different other segments of the society, including the physically challenged people, physically differently abled people, and take their inputs and build a system. This is the difference between Hyderabad Metro and other metros. 2014 December, we will finish the first stretch, 8 kilometers from Nagol to Metagoda, which will open as a Ugadi gift in 2015, March 15. Women's empowerment or gender equality is a major, major social agenda as a part of our project. In fact, I have conducted, she has also participated in that particular thing. We had three sessions and you know, see, we gave the title Nirbhaya Commute. It's an insult. It's a sad thing for the country that you know, see, after 60 years of independence also, women are not able to travel on uh, their own. For example, you think of a movement actually, how much of a difference Kuti made to women's emancipation. They are no more dependent on their male members of the society that are able to go on their own. Further improvement is that you see, Metro, we are creating that kind of a facilities for women so that women can assert themselves, whatever facilities they want, they will be available in the metro stations and in the metro trains. Last mile connectivity also we are taking. A lot of suggestions were made you know, see, in the sessions which we held with these women's groups, etc. We are incorporating all these things. It becomes easy. You don't have to be dependent upon your husband, son, a father. You can go on your own. This is a promise I am making to the women folk of this city and we will ensure this.